Dear Minister, ladies and gentlemen, as European Commissioner with responsibility for the rights of people with disabilities, I commend the EASPD on the very pertinent title of today's conference, Persons with Disabilities in Employment, Inclusion through Jobs. Employment is indeed a top priority for Europe, but so too are fairness and inclusion. No one should be left behind as we strive for more jobs. Discrimination has no place in Europe. Today, the employment gap in the European Union between people with and without disability is 23.6 percentage points. More needs to be done to combat the unacceptable low levels of people with disabilities in our workforce. We essentially need jobs that are open to all citizens, including persons with disabilities, so they too can live with dignity and actively contribute at all levels of society. For that to happen, we need to make sure that the European Union law, which prohibits discrimination on the grounds of disability in employment and occupation, is fully implemented. This includes its obligation for employers to make the necessary adaptations for persons with disabilities, enabling all people to the work on an equal basis, breaking down barriers. Many, including the EASPD, have watched the European Union even more closely since it joined the UN Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. The European Commission is working with member states and with its partners, service providers like you, to live up to its standards. Through better policy and lawmaking and an efficient use of European Union investments, such as the European Social Fund, we can help create better jobs for all and a more inclusive society. I would like to take the opportunity to thank you all, ESPD members, for your hard work and contribution to putting the UN Convention into practice. As the conference title also says, you are making it real.